Here's a Boost Your BIM overview of how to create a Ruby macro using Revit 2014. When we create a new macro, there is now in 2014 the option to select Ruby. Create a name for the module. Sharp Develop opens with several modules predefined. They have an if false statement around them so that the macros by default are not enabled. But if we change this to if true, or just remove the um, if statement, then compile using build solution. As a warning, do not use the Ruby command menu here. These commands will crash the Sharp Develop session. Instead, go back to Revit and click Run from the Macro Manager dialog. And here we see the task dialog created by that first macro. We can enable these other sample macros by changing the if statement to true. Again, build the solution, do not use the Ruby menu in Sharp Develop, switch back to Revit, open the Macro Manager, we will now see the additional two macros listed. One for listing materials, and the new rectangular prism demo which as you can see requires a family document so if we create a new family then come back to the macro manager and run that macro we see the rectangular piece of geometry has been created. To learn more about the Revit API, visit boostyourbim.wordpress.com.